Hello and welcome everybody right on time. My name is Lisa and I'm also known as Job Coach Germany. Welcome to my career coaching drop-in session number 43. Wow, what a week. So, well, first of all, we are in a different setting today. Well, obviously I'm still in my office and still working, but um, normally without my glasses and not with a ponytail. <laughs> So today it's just a little bit different and uh, I wanted to announce that this career coaching drop-in session is going to change in the next couple of months a little bit because I have um, started with a poll and I would highly or kindly ask you all to participate in my poll on my various social media channels so that I can find out what timing of this career coaching drop-in session suits you best. And basically you can um, decide between having this career coaching drop-in session in the morning, during lunchtime, in the afternoon or in the evening. And you don't have to worry about the different time zones that you're in because this is something that I'll figure out afterwards. Um, yeah, I just want to make it more suitable to you guys so that you actually have the chance to participate here live so that you can actually have more benefit of using this career coaching drop-in session. So it's a drop-in so that you guys can drop in and ask your questions, okay? So yeah, just stay tuned and feel free to go into my stories or follow me and connect with me on Instagram, uh, on LinkedIn and just participate in the poll there. So I'm going to let this poll open for about two weeks and then I'm going to let you know how we are going on with this career coaching drop-in session in October. And today, this session is all about what sparks your interest. So if you are interested in listening to that, feel free to stay here and yeah, just um, let me know in the comments what kind of books, podcasts or activities spark your interest or what kind of people you are following that are interesting to you that that motivate you that spark your interest okay so let me know in the comments and yeah there are um three more things that i wanted to share with you guys so first of all i don't know whether you had the time yet to take a look at the interview that i did with steffi from the uk on monday so dive into the videos and um take a look at what Steffi has done with, uh, with her story, moving from the UK and starting her life here as an ex expat in Germany, in Bavaria. So, and then another thing is that I have um, just recently started a partnership with the company called Jimglish, and they are offering a German language course that you can do in your own time at home. It's an online course. And this online course is called Wunderbla, and you can learn German with Wunderbla. And feel free to click the link in my bio and then click on Wunderbla and get all the details because with me, you get your first month for free. So free German lessons for one month, go ahead and try it out. And then last but not least, um, obviously you might have heard that I'm participating as a speaker in a series of career fairs, the Tech Jobs Fair. And just yesterday, um, we had this wonderful virtual branding and careers fair in the Netherlands. And if you are still interested in landing your dream job in the field of IT or tech or the digital industry, then go ahead, go on to their website, techjobsfair.com and then sign up for the event that is most suitable to you. So for everybody that is interested in landing a career here in Germany, then um, this is happening on the 11th of November. Um, but there are other fairs also going on for other countries here in Europe, also Switzerland. And um, so stay tuned for that. Just go on the website and check it out. So I can see that there are some people following here on Facebook already. Hi, Facebook guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about today's topic. What sparks your interest? So first of all, um, this this wording or this phrase of sparks joy or sparks interest where did i get this from well obviously this is not 
an idea that I came up with myself, but it's something that was planted like a seed in my head when I um, first read or heard about KonMari. Yeah, so um, there is this um, Japanese lady called Marie Kondo, and she came up with a method to basically clear up your surroundings and have a clear or clean workspace and living space, but also clearing everything that might go on in your head. And this is called the KonMari method. And this is when I, back in 2017, I started cleaning all of my, I started with obviously my wardrobe and um, was finding out, okay, what of these items actually spark joy inside of me and which don't. And those that didn't, I simply donated them to charities. Um, and it gave me a lot more space in my cupboard. And I was actually able to yeah, reevaluate my um yeah, the the way how I saw different objects that I had in my life. And this is something that I would like you to think about when it comes to your career, when it comes to applying for jobs, and also especially when it comes to staying motivated during the job hunt, because this is the, the topic that I covered a lot during August, what happens and what are you doing when you receive a rejection, yeah? So we covered what kind of grief you're going through when you're receiving a rejection for a specific job that you wanted. And then also um, I was talking about what you can do in order to get out of this low point and how you can motivate yourself. And today I would like to talk to you about the different aspects that can um, support you with your motivation, that can support you with your interest. But for that, obviously, you need to find out what sparks joy in you and what doesn't. And there are a couple of tips that I wanted to share with you guys. So first of all, what you can do is first of all, coming up with a vision board. And this can happen, you can come up with that vision board physically, like um, getting like a piece of paper. Um, and Petra is here. Hi, Petra. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> We are talking about what sparks your interest. <laughs> and um, now I'm talking about vision boards. So you can come up with a huge piece of paper and put in or like cutting out a lot of different um, persons, objects or things or books or movies or music that interests you and you can just um, stick it or glue it on this piece of paper and then put this this vision board somewhere where you can see it every day yeah so this is something that you can do you can also use pinterest to come up with a vision board because you get a lot of inspiration on pinterest to do that and even if you don't know where to start just go on to pinterest and type in vision board and then you get inspired by that and the next level vision board nowadays is called Mind Movie. So this is something that you can come up with um, for yourself. And here you basically select different parts of other movies. You can select music, you can select pictures, images, anything that interests you and put that in a little loop so that you have a little movie out of that. And this is your Mind Movie. And then just take out some time and watch it over and over and over again so that it is implemented in your subconscious, okay? Then, obviously, something that um, you might want to um, do or want to, want to um, think about using when it comes to interests and, and new ideas that you might want to have is reading magazines that you feel interested in, yeah? So there are different magazines, whether that is the Wall Street Journal, The Economist, or anything that you feel inspired by. Think about just maybe you make a little ritual out of that and going to your favorite magazine store and or kiosk and getting that uh, magazine there having a cup of coffee, having a cup of tea, and then just going through this journal uh, or going through this magazine 
um, like having a date with yourself and reading that and maybe get inspired by that. It would be recommendable to get a magazine where there are people inside talking about the journey that you have ahead of you or um, that is talking about certain things that you want to have in your life. And then you can find out how these people actually got to the point where you want to be. Okay, so this might be of interest to you. Then um, a very, very good opportunity to, to find interesting new ideas is by listening to podcasts or audiobooks. So this is something, and you are obviously um, in the focus, in the center of that. So you know best what interests you, right? So go with the flow, check out different podcast, check out different audiobooks and just um, get inspired by that. Another thing that you can do is writing a future me email. And I have a little future me journal some uh, that I bought a couple of years ago. And here it's basically uh, from you to me. So basically from me to myself. And this is something that you can do with an email as well. So there's um, just type in your favorite um search engine future me email and then you can send an email to yourself and it's hardy is here hi it's hardy thanks for joining me and um you can basically send an email to your future self for example by writing an email for you in a month from now or in three months from now or next year or maybe all the time for your birthday, yeah, something like that. And basically you can choose the date when you are able to receive this email, uh, when you want to receive this email. And you can write in there how you're feeling now or how you're wanting to feel in the future or what you think, what you might have achieved and at that particular point in time when you're sending this email. But be really, really generous and be very kind to yourself. Yeah, so not just talk about you will ha have achieved this, this, this and that. No, you are, want to talk about, look at the way that you have come until now and what you've experienced, good and bad. Everything is all right. Yeah, all the feelings are welcome, but be very, very kind to yourself because your future self will thank you for that. <laughs> okay, Um so uh, think about it from that perspective, what your future self would like to tell you, okay? And then obviously what you want to be doing with regards to getting new ideas and being inspired is just network. Network with people, find role models and um, talk to people who are in that position that you want to have and ask them how they got to that particular point. You could also think about finding a mentor. Yeah, so mentoring is really, really helpful when you want to get to the next step in your career. Finding a coach would also be very helpful. Or um, finding a mastermind group. This would be very helpful to get inspired and finding new ideas in your path. Okay, so and then. I would like to share a couple of books with you that you can um, read. Uh, some of them I don't have with me right now because I've um, uh, given them to friends so that they can read them uh, so that they are inspired. And then I, I get them back at some point <laughs> and some of the books I have here and I can show you right now. But so one of the first books that inspired me a lot was The Big Five for Life by John Strelicki. And without, um, um, yeah, without being um, too... How do you actually say that? I don't want to spoil the storyline, but it's basically about you going into the museum of your life and what do you want to see about that? So this book is really, really cool. Another book um, that is kind of um, about how you see the way we work and how this future work will shift and how our view of the way how we're all working together is changing nowadays. This is discussed in the book Reinventing Organizations by Frederic Laloux. And this I can highly recommend it. And it, it's very um, scientific, but it's also with a lot of 
images in there so that you can understand what this psychology is behind this topic. Yeah, so uh, this is something that I really live by. It's not very much about having a company where all of the orders are given from top down, but it's rather very inclusive that we have a, a, like every person is on the same level. We all have the same same power and can decide in a community how we want to go on and how we can support one another. Yeah, so not one person is better than the other, but rather we as a collective are very, very strong if we're working together and we have maybe coaches on a side who can help us bring out the best in all of us. So this is what this Reinventing Organizations book is all about, and I can highly recommend that to you. Then another book that I don't have in a physical form, but rather as an audiobook, is The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. So Mel Robbins has written many different books, and um, you can basically read all of them. They are like a coaching in itself, but this five second rule is all about getting started. Yeah, so it's like um, having this five second countdown where you're counting down five, four, three, two, one, boom, and then you're starting with whatever you want to be doing. Okay, so this book is really, really helpful when it when you want to start getting out of your comfort zone. Then one of the books that I always like to recommend to my coaches who are not really sure about what kind of career they want to pursue is this book. It's in German. It's called Das Traumjob Experiment. So it's kind of like the dream job experiment. And it's written by one of my former colleagues um, when we both were still working in corporate uh, more than, oh no, yeah, roughly 10, ten years ago. So um, it's written by Janike Stör and Janike Stör is nowadays also a career coach like myself. And she is very specific when it comes to finding your dream career. So the, the career that you want to be doing. So what is that that sparks the joy in you and how can you do that as a career? So what has she done during this dream job experiment? Well, basically she has tested 30 jobs in one year. So she has done different internships with different companies um, from uh, being a, uh, a saleswoman, a teacher, um, a farmer, journalist, startup, uh, founder, a texter, um, politician, all of these things. Yeah. So she has tested different things and then she has found out what are the, uh, who is suitable for that job or who isn't. So this is really, really interesting to read. Another one, obviously, is Berlin's Immigration Secrets by Eris Agam, and he will be on one of my live interviews very soon. Um, and Eris has uh, shared his story of how he has moved from Israel to Berlin and all of the different ups and downs that he has experienced. And this is really, really helpful for everybody that is thinking of moving to Germany. So all of you guys out there. And then last but not least, another book. <laughs> it's the Mindful Self-Discipline book by Giovanni Dinsman. And this is again, something similar to Mel Robbins. It's finding out how you get out of your comfort zone, how you can support your willpower, how you can support your motivation, but not in a dreadful way, like pushing yourself to the edge, but rather finding out why is that that you want to train your willpower and how can you as a person find out what is best for you individually, okay? So it's not like a box that you need to fit in, but it's more finding out what helps you as an individual the most to bring out the best in you. OK, so and then there are a couple of um, podcasts that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so first of all, there is this Squiggly Careers podcast, which is also in English, and it's by Sarah Ellis and Helen Tupper. And um, this is really helpful when it comes to career and everything that you want to find out 
about your ideal career and all of the career topics that are out there. These are discussed in that podcast. And Forever Zimt is here. This is really cool name. Forever Zimt is something that I live by. I love cinnamon. <laughs> So I hope you mean that when you say Zimt, because this is the German word for cinnamon. This is really funny. Um, and then another podcast that I would recommend to you, if you already know German, it's called Berufsoptimierer. Yeah? So optimizing your career. This is basically the rough translation. This is a podcast by Bastian Hughes, and he is talking about um, all of the different topics that there are. Um, with regards to your career and how you can optimize your career and all of the different topics that you want to discuss with regards to your ideal career. And then last but not least, there is this another German podcast that is called Kopf, Herz and, und Erfolg. So it's basically Head, Heart and Success. And this is also by the same author, um, like my former colleague, Janike Stör, that you can see here on the picture. And she is also talking about basically what you want to be doing with all of your knowledge, but also what is sparking your interest, your joy in your heart, and how can you be successful with that? Okay, so this is what her podcast is all about. So what I want to be, want you to do is basically come up with a list that is helpful to you that is sparking the interest in you okay so let me know what you think and thank you very much everybody for tuning in for this week's career coaching drop-in session on what sparks interest in you and i'm very much looking forward to seeing you guys all again next week so thanks and bye bye